Let's talk about determining decimals on a number line. What do tenths look like on a number line? A number line can have whole numbers and fractions, but they can also have decimals. In between whole numbers on the number line, there are tenths. The number line is partitioned into ten equal portions. Each one is called a tenth. You start counting from one-tenth all the way to nine-tenths. What do hundredths look like on a number line? Just as a tenth is in between each whole number, hundredths are in between each tenth. They also start at one-hundredth and go to nine-hundredths. Where is six-tenths on the number line? When determining the place of a decimal on a number line, you have to find the distance from zero to that number. To find six tenths on the number line, you start at zero and count the spaces until you reach that number. Zero to the first tally mark is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, and then our final number, which is six tenths. Where is 68 hundredths on the number line? The first step to finding 68 hundredths on the number line is to first find 6 tenths. 68 hundredths is between 6 tenths and 7 tenths. We follow the same steps as before. We start at 6 tenths, which is also 60 hundredths, and count 8 spaces. 61 hundredths. 62 hundredths, 63 hundredths, 64 hundredths, 65 hundredths, 66 hundredths, 67 hundredths, and 68 hundredths. And our final question is place 5 tenths, 15 hundredths, 3 tenths, and 75 hundredths on the number line below. Remember, to find the correct placement on the number line. You count the spaces, not the lines. Our first placement is 15 hundredths because the one is in the tens place and the five is in the hundredths place, so it goes first. Our second number is 3 tenths because it is on the third line from zero. Our second number is 5 tenths. It is on the fifth line from zero. And our last number is 75 hundredths because it is seven and a half from zero.